When I think about Pat Casey, I think about a woman who is driven. Pat Casey to me is so deserving of this award. Um, Pat Casey, even before I came to BC High, very early on in my admissions career, Pat was an icon. What would I have to say to BC High students? I would want to tell them to, you know, kind of obviously be their own people. But, but one of the things I really think about is communicate. You know, when you, th when you feel something, say it. If, you're, if you love somebody, tell them that you love them. If you're grateful for something, say thank you. Say those things. Don't think that people understand that uh, that's what's in your mind. Actually, actually say it. When I think of Pat Casey, I think of a person who could look into a child's eyes and see what's possible. Uh, she could know what, where they need to be, where they need to go, and what, need, what there needs to be to get, her, get those children there. Um, so she works tirelessly to put in place all of the things that would be necessary for have the, to have these children reach their fullest potentials. When I met her, it was this different person who wasn't as intimidating as I thought she would be because that was my first time meeting with her. And then when I joined BC High, I started working with Pat on a regular basis. And what I found is this woman who had such incredible compassion, someone who was so incredibly thoughtful, so committed, really wanted the best for BC High, wanted the admissions office to be the best that it could be. I feel like it's home and, and, and I feel um, so welcome here and so grateful to finally um, at this, you know, like late stage of my life, I get to go to a Jesuit secondary school. She absolutely knows what people, what we need to do to help people to understand us better. And oftentimes we, a school can have a great mission, but to communicate that mission is really, really a challenge. And Pat is such an expert at that. And she's able to put the best, uh, our best side at St. Colin Kill. And also I know at BC High, she was able always to put out the best face of, of BC High for all the constituents. Pat is very much about behind the scenes person. She's not someone who seeks the limelight. I'm very interested to see her as she publicly accepts this award. Um, but I think Pat is a great example of a woman for others who really, she has students' best interests at heart, families' best interests at heart, and she wants to make sure that we continue to do the right things by people. And so I think in that way, she sets a great example as that quiet role model um, and that person who's so committed to her endeavors. What I like most about BCI is that you can walk into this place where there are literally hundreds of young men and there is not at all a sense of chaos. It's, it's always calm. It, it, everybody seems to be kind of moving in the, in the places that they're supposed to be moving in. Nobody raises their voice. I, I think it's, it's, it's really a remarkable atmosphere and it never ceases to amaze me when I walk in those doors. I'm Pat Casey and I'm this year's recipient of the Shields Medal.